In the last decade or so, healthcare for women has progressed significantly. And as an interventional radiologist, I have seen significant growth and development. But what's lacking is the patient awareness. Uh, I'm Dr. Deepa Shri. I'm the clinical lead of interventional radiology department at Dr. Rayla Institute and Medical Center. So uterine fibroids uh, can affect anybody from 18 years to up to menopause, up to 50 years of age. Anybody can have uterine fibroids. Why do we get uterine fibroids? There is no reason for this. And uh, generally, uh, women in the reproductive age, they tend to get uterine fibroids. And some of the symptoms because of uterine fibroids can be uh, menorrhagia. Menorrhagia is heavy periods. People tend to have heavy periods. And because of heavy periods, they tend to lose blood and they become anemic. So people present with tiredness. And quite often, women, they consider tiredness as part and parcel of their lives. Uh, they don't attribute this to heavy periods and so most people they ignore the symptoms of fibroids so one thing that I would say is do not ignore the symptoms of fibroids especially if you have heavy periods it's better to do an ultrasound scan get an ultrasound scan done get it checked and if they have fibroids then we go on to do MRI scan later uterine fibroid embolization uh, people also call it uterine artery embolization so what it basically is embolization is a bit of a fancy term uh, when it comes to blocking the blood supply to any particular organ for that matter. If you block off blood supply to the uterus, you call it uterine artery embolization. And because we are specifically getting into the uterine artery, we call it uterine artery embolization. What it involves is taking a small tube to get inside the uterine artery. We have two uterine arteries on both sides, one on the right side and one on the left side. And we take a small tube as close to the fibroid as possible and we inject particles. And these particles are called as polyvinyl alcohol particles. We call them PVA particles and we use these particles to block off the blood supply to the fibroid. So what happens here is the blood supply to the fibroid is blocked but the blood supply to the uterus remains preserved and this is a reason why uh, this is probably as safe and as effective as hysterectomy. Hysterectomy is removal of the uterus. Some people they also have something called as myomectomy. Myomectomy is just scooping out the fibroid but preserving the uterus but not everybody is suitable for myomectomy or hysterectomy and also there are a lot of young women uh, who would want to preserve their uterus. There are people who would want to conceive. Uh, in those cases, we can definitely consider uterine fibroid embolization because it's a lot safer and patients get to go home either the same day or the next day. It's more or less like a day case procedure and it's painless as well. As an interventional radiologist, I would certainly recommend this treatment for someone looking to treat uterine fibroids with an overnight or an outpatient stay at the hospital. This is scarless, sutureless and knifeless. So with the Department of Radiology at Rela Institute, using pioneering technology and the state-of-art facility, we are making progress like never before. It's one step at a time.